everybody. Welcome to week 14 here on the 52 Horrific Weeks 1988 series. I am your host, Boot616, and thank you once again for stopping in. Alrighty, guys. Yeah, week 14 is here. Put the remaining films into the randomizer. Hit that random button. And we've got Zombie 3, or Zombie 2, or whatever. However you want to name this one. Um, of course, directed by Lucio Fulci and uh, Bruno Mattai. Um, rumor has it that Bruno Mattai, I think, did the majority of the film based on the fact that Lucio Fulci started filming this movie and then he got sick. Uh, I think that he just filmed most of the beginning shots and stuff from what I've read and stuff. So, um, But yeah, you can tell in spots that this is definitely not a full-out Fulci film um, just based on certain things that are happening and stuff. Uh, but yeah, Zombie 3, um, I guess this is the, the first of three sequels, you know, after Lucio Fulci's classic zombie film. Um, so yeah, getting into the plot of this one, uh, it basically starts out in the film with, um, with, uh, Karis attacking, uh, these military scientists or whatever. Uh, they're trying to steal, um, this chemical weapon that the military's developed for whatever reasons. Um... They don't really succeed in it too well. Uh, they they do this big attack on the on the um, scientists. The military fights back. One of the scientists runs off with this case that's holding like this military chemical inside this case. Um, it gets damaged and broken. He gets infected. Um, he soon checks himself into a hotel because he's all freaking out and he's basically turning into something that he doesn't know what he's turning into. Um, but then uh, the military realizes what has happened. This case has been broken open. They know for a fact that this guy's out there infected. So they hunt him down. Uh, they basically get him. And uh, what the what the military does first without really kind of notifying the scientists and stuff is that uh, they figured, you know, to cover it up and get rid of the body and all the evidence and stuff that they'll burn it. So what they, they throw this body in this like incinerator and uh, of course against the scientists will um, because they they kind of figured that that might spread the disease or whatnot and sure enough they throw this body in the incinerator and it actually the uh, the ashes and the and the the heat and stuff kind of mutates the virus and stuff and makes it airborne which infects all these people on this uh, this military area and stuff and people start turning into zombies and you know shit starts going down so you basically have a bunch of random characters that kind of come together in the film and they are trying to survive this zombie apocalypse by surviving in a like an abandoned hotel or whatnot um, with you know or trying to get refuge at this military base and stuff um, so yeah it's just the survival of you know your lead characters and stuff and trying to survive this attack um, so yeah my thoughts on this one like I always said you know this this movie feels at times like a faulty film and other times it totally doesn't uh the biggest thing with this movie is that the zombies all kind of look different they're they're very kind of cheaply done um it's definitely not the classic zombie look of you know the original zombie film and stuff um this one's pretty high octane it's it's got lots of action in it lots of gunfire um lots of stuff that bruno matai likes to put into his films and stuff it's very much like like his film um but you know there is it's actually really fun. I think there's a lot of scenes in the film that are really well done and really well shot, actually. Cinematography's actually not too bad in this movie. Uh, I really like a lot of the scenes shot in the abandoned hotel. It's really dark, and it, it created a really cool atmosphere. Lots of smoke, really kind of dingy lighting and stuff. Uh, really kind of adds to it. I, you know, you know, with the zombies not looking the best, it kind of, you know, it kind of drowns out that zombie look a little bit. And it does, it does feel a little bit kind of claustrophobic and kind of, you know kind of dark and uh, kind of scary at times and stuff. Um, you know, it's a really fun film. It's really driven by an awesome score. Uh, if you guys watched my intro before this series, the, the theme song that's playing in the intro is actually the theme song from Zombie 3. Uh, I love that. I love that music. It plays out throughout the film. It really adds a really awesome element to it. Um, uh, as for the gore in the film, it's not as gory as a general you know, Lucio Fulci film. There is some pretty fucking cool scenes in this film. Uh, there's one really awesome scene with a zombie baby, <laughs> which is pretty fucking gnarly. But overall, it's not the goriest films. You you know, you'd expect it to be a little more gory. There's a few head, head explosions and stuff. You know, and with that said, the way they, um, you know, the way they kill zombies in this film, it seems like they're almost really easy to kill. Like, you can stab them, 
shoot them wherever. There's nothing to do with shooting them in the head or decapitating them or whatnot. Um, he seemed to die all over the place, which is kind of a weird one. That's why I kind of this this film kind of feels to me like it's a. Uh, it's kind of more of like an infection film, you know, the virus gets airborne and, and kind of infects all these people and it, it doesn't really say that there's, you know, actual people coming from the grave. It does say that the, the dead are coming back, but they never really show that and it just seems like it's more of an infection film than anything, but um, I don't know, it's still a lot of fucking fun, man. I have a lot of fun with this film. Like I said, the score is enough to keep you intrigued throughout the film. Uh, the dialogue in this film is so funny at times, like just some of the things that they say, of course it's all driven by a lot of really bad dub overs, um, just some of the things that people say though, it's just like, really, like, would you say that, like, I love this one scene towards the end of the film where a couple of the main characters, one guy's, or the girl's like, yo, there's a grenade underneath the, uh, underneath the truck, so Buddy does this awesome barrel roll, dives underneath there, grabs it, and he's like, come on man, pull the pin! <laughs> I just like the way he says that, like, you really need to tell him to pull the pin. Um, no, it's it's a really fucking fun film, man. You know, it runs about 95 minutes or something like that. Uh, and it doesn't really feel that long. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of shit going on in this film that kind of keeps you intrigued. It's just a very simple premise, you know. It's just basically about survival, like a lot of zombie films. But it's well done. You know, there's some familiar faces in this one. Uh, the main girl in the film, I... I recognize her from Beatrice Ring, I think is her name, from uh, Graveyard Disturbance. It's a film that I did on my Lambert above, a uh, theme week. I recognize her, and also the main guy in this I recognize too. Um, but you know, like a lot of these zombie, or these Italian films, you recognize a lot of the faces in there, but um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's a really fucking fun film. The, the one character in this movie that really cracks me up is the military sergeant. He's just such a fucking douche. He's just, his whole idea of cleaning up this whole mess is just basically killing off everybody just kind of bombarding a place and you know bombing the whole shit you know the whole fucking place but they already learned that like burning the bodies and shit isn't gonna work <laughs> but he's so he's so fucking driven on that, that that it's gonna work and shit it just cracks me up but um yeah lucio fulci's and uh bruno matai's zombie 3 fun fucking movie if you've never seen this sequel man definitely check it out uh, I personally like all all the sequels in the zombie series. Um, I mean, they're not great by any means, but uh, they're fun films. Especially if you love Italian cinema, you can't pass these up. You gotta own these. So, um, really good job by Shriek Show. Uncut version of this film. You can tell with some of the put back in footage, it's a little you know less quality and stuff. But it's worth having it in there because you know those are probably the goriest points in the film and stuff. So. Um, yeah, I think that's probably everything I want to say about it. If I had to rate this one, I'd probably just give it, you know, a solid 7 out of 10. You know, it's not a, like I said, it's not a fantastic film or anything, but it's just entertainment at its best, um, especially for, like, zombie films and Italian films. But, um, yeah, Zombie 3, check that out, man. Week 14 here on the uh, 88 series, guys. Uh, I will be back next week. Oh, I didn't mention, actually, it took 14 weeks to finally get a sequel. <laughs> Out of all the sequels that are in that uh, in my intro, this is the first one to come up, but couldn't have been a better one. It's awesome. So anyways, guys, I will check you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed the review. Peace out, homies.